Let's continue on with our agricultural district upgrade then, shall we? Since last time, I have moved the rabbit hutch from sitting there to sitting just across the way there, so that we could continue our path just along and up the length of our little hill section here. It will make absolutely zero difference here in the long term, but I have already done it, so let's get some paths placed down then. Unfortunately, there isn't a dedicated Asian style of path that we can use, so we have opted instead to use the Caledonia themed style of roads, which, to be fair, are working out not too bad for us so far. The only real complaint that I have about these type of roads is the fact that we have a subway system underneath of them, which does cause these things to take quite some time to construct. I do almost regret my decision to try establish a subway system with these colonies. But that is a job for future me to then worry about. Let's go ahead with that pathway there. And that was Andy just finishing up the Shepherd's Hut upgrade. Thank you very much, Andy. I think in the space where we once had the rabbit hutch, we will just sit down another well decoration in its place. They are easy enough to construct and are just another good decoration for this area. Just a little's way up from a rabbit hutch there, we have this guard tower at the top of it, which is pretty much obsolete at the moment. It was only placed down here to expand out our colony's boundary, but we really don't need it anymore, so let's come in and have it deconstructed and maybe have something be placed down instead of it. Which we do have a fair amount of space between that and these houses just behind it. So I am actually thinking to maybe, if we have the room, to place down another farm actually. I will let them deconstruct that guard tower first and continue this pathway all the way up heading down towards our plantation build to see exactly how much room that we have there. But uh, yeah, I think we might get another farm established in this area here. But until we have some free builders to come out there and help us with that, I am just going to spend a little bit more time here placing down a few more roads just to connect up some of these builds. With Andy just completing our level 5 upgrade to the Shepherd's Hut here, I think that we should maybe attempt to do something with all of these rogue sheep that we have around the place. I mean, Joanna still has a pretty big job in there alone at the moment. But these sheep do keep escaping, which is causing this overpopulation problem here. I think one way that I am going to solve this is to augment this hut a little bit. Basically just by extending out the wall here a little bit. Give the overall area a bit more room and hopefully stop them from escaping. I will request and then a stack or two of endstone bricks to me uh, from the colony which I may need to go get them some endstone actually for that and hopefully that will help. It probably won't but it is worth a shot here anyway. I will probably do the same with the cowboy here and any other build as well. Maybe the swine herders whenever it gets up. Although in saying all of that, this area here is incredibly chaotic and I really actually quite like that. But that was Cyrus then, just finishing off that new little T-section pathway that we've placed in here. These decorations technically have two upgrades to them, so that was the first one. We will need to get him coming around here and upgrading that to level 2 next, which will give it the subway part of it. I think at the moment this may now be blocked off. Yep. So we will need to get him coming out to then fix that little issue there for us, but he will get on with that. Ava, what are we doing here, pal? We are apparently making some stairs that I have set down here. Uh, not doing a very good job at that, I must admit, but. She's a good builder, I'm sure she knows what she's doing. 
And on that note of good builders, that was Luella just finishing off of our swineherder's hut. Perfect. Let's try to get this up to level 2 as soon as we can. Although she may have moved on to start the deconstruction order. Or maybe not. Well, we'll get someone coming out here to start upgrading these builds at least for us. The bottom area of our agricultural district is so quiet and peaceful compared to the top end of it. Anyway, I think the farm here is now up at level 5 for us. Yes indeed it is. So I believe then that Pablo, our farmer, should be able to then start harvesting five different crops for us here. Of which this is the only scarecrow I see without any crops in it. Although we should have pumpkins being grown within it. So I just need to make sure that he is going to do that. Which he will now do for us. Perfect. Okay, so that is most of the crops then that we will need for the colony. Going to be handled by pretty much one of our farms here. Although I have seen that my sizing for these fields are a bit wrong. So I will need to quickly fix that up. And we've made an advancement. Green thumbs. Uh, fair enough. Which was basically just to assign the maximum amount of fields, being 5, to a level 5 farmer. Excellent. I don't feel that we really need much more done to this area here. Maybe a few more decorations around the place, but this bottom part of our agricultural district I think is pretty much complete now, which I'm quite happy with. Just a few more detailing within it, and yeah, I think that there is pretty much complete. That top end though... Ah, uh, yep, yeah, that's definitely a bit of a monster. Although, at our entrance here, we do have this rather big open space, which I have had another thought as to what I would like to place in here. So, to begin with, I am just going to clear away all of the stone that we have here. Then I am going to fill that empty space with some grass blocks. Oh, that's good. That Cyrus already deconstructed that guard tower for us. Brilliant. Next, I'm going to make myself up a few spruce fences alongside gates. And then we're going to start laying them out on top of our new grass field. We will get a few more fences and place them down to act as some posts. And finally then, some slabs to sit on top of that, which will act as a little roof here. So there we have it then, our own miniature stables. Which design I totally didn't just rip from the fortress style. Right, let's go out and see if we have any horses that we can bring back quickly. Which I think I did remember a horse stuck down here in the water. So I do have a lead on me. Let's bring you back then, chap. And eventually we will get you guys tamed here so that we can ride you about. But for the moment, get your happy ass inside of here. This is where you're now going to live permanently. And perfect. Job done. Right, let's head up then to see this area that has been cleared thanks to that guard tower removal. Ava, still doing a fantastic job here, pal. Maybe let's actually get something done here today. Thank you very much. I think I will just quickly remove all of the trees around here just to fully get the scope of this size of area. We do need a fairly big area for a farm, which I think this might constitute as one, actually. It definitely does, but not big enough unfortunately for this large five field decoration that I like to put in for the farms. But we don't necessarily need that. We could just put in five separate smaller farms for this one farmer actually. Hmm, okay that gives me an idea. I know that our grass path is going to continue up in a stair motion until we get to about this elevation here. And I'm pretty sure that where I have the farm set at the moment, 
is where the edge of the straight path that's going in is going to come up to. So I think I could place the farm here and that should be pretty much perfect for where I want it at the moment because it will then give me a bit of space to the side for maybe a small field but plenty of space behind it for several other fields for it. But it is very difficult to gauge this whenever the builders haven't yet finished up the current projects they're working on. Oh, you know what, let's go ahead with it. We can always deconstruct it and place it elsewhere if it is wrong. But at least for the moment, let's get this thing up and constructed for us. There is another agricultural based decoration which I have seen and have always wanted to place in as well here. Which I think this space in front, depending on the size of the build itself, could possibly do for a place for this decoration. And I believe this falls under another Caledonia themed decoration, but this one is for a windmill. It is probably a bit too big to sit nicely in this area here that I wanted. Yep, a bit of overhang there. Maybe depending on the fields that we have going around the farm here, we could maybe situate it somewhere around here. Okay, well, I would like to maybe place down a windmill or its second variant, which looks a lot more impressive. But, uh... Yes, we have enough to be getting on with here at the moment. I really need our builders to get their finger out here a little bit. Well, we now have a few more paths up and we have a level 1 farm set up for us at the moment. This is displaying level 5, but it is only level 1. Behind it, I have tried to place in a field, but looking at this, in order for us to get 5 fields in, we just don't have enough room for this idea basically. So I am just going to scrap the idea of placing in yet another farm here and I will just have whoever come out and deconstruct this for us. But in its place, I have yet another idea to try out and that is to then place down our windmill decoration which I think would sit pretty nicely somewhere in the middle here. And what we will then do is just surround this build with another field, but maybe have wheat growing within it. It will just be more decoration than function here, but uh, yeah, I think that could maybe work out. I think we will have the blades of the windmill face out into the rest of our colony, so that whenever we are away from the agricultural district, we can still then look back over to this and hopefully the windmill should be in the distance that we can see. Yeah, that... Oh, who cares at this point? Let's go ahead with it. i seen in our open request list that Andy is requesting in some orange clay shingle slabs to be made and that is because she is upgrading our plantation to level 5 at the moment. We already have in some lime clay shingle slabs, so she is getting on with that absolutely fine. Let's quickly head out to the industry district just to teach those recipes. Which are simple enough recipes to teach here, but this will allow her to finish off that plantation build and help us move on with some of these other projects. Luella has just finished deconstructing the farm there for us, so I will pick that up. And I think it was Cyrus who has now picked up the windmill decoration. By this point in our colony's lifespan, I don't expect anything here on the list to trip us up. Which, by the looks of it, there is nothing at all here. Just a shed load of spruce required. But nothing that our colony can't handle for them, so I will just let them get on with that. As for us though, we are going to quickly fill out the remaining area here with grass and then slowly start turning it into some farmland which that's the complete wrong tool about this but you know what I'm trying to do. We will manage this one way or another. 
adjust depending on how much fun I did that I'm being. And there's Ava, just finished off the other farm to level 5. Nicely done, pal. And that is Andy, just finished with the level 5 upgrade to the plantation. Even better. Well, the windmill is certainly getting there as well. We are now 90% complete with it, and he has everything in in order to complete it. So it won't take him too much longer before it is up and working here. Well, not actually working here, but functionally working as a decoration. It's really looking not too bad, and we will get that upgraded to level 2 just afterwards. As you can see, I have a nice coarse path dirt leading all the way around to it as well. And I'm just slowly starting to fill out all of the farmland with the wheat here too. So this whole area is definitely coming together pretty nicely. As for the rest of our agricultural district, our swine herder's hut is now up at level 2. I don't actually think we have done too much to this build yet, but we do need to upgrade it to level 3, so let's come in and do that. We will bring some pigs over into it eventually here, maybe after we do something with all of this nonsense. The shepherd's hut is now complete and I may cull off some of the spare sheep that we have and they will just then look after the ones that they have within there. The cowhand's hut is also now up at level 5 and it's pretty much the same story as our shepherd's hut. I just need to bring out a separate wall as a barrier to keep them in there, but it's also looking not too bad there now. All of our farms are now up at level 5, alongside all of the houses. I think all we have left then is the new swine herder's hut and the new rabbit hutch here. And then I think that is everything within the agricultural district maxed. It is all then just more decoration placement and path placement that we need to put in here. Especially the subway part of things, which is still an ongoing thing with this. But we are making progress with it. Very, very slow progress with it. So I think we will do one final jump cut ahead here, just to get some more things constructed and placed down. But uh, yeah, whenever we come back in a second, that should hopefully be our agricultural district then complete. Well, it has been some time later, but that is the agricultural district now complete. So, it's now time for me to shut up and to cue the nice heaven tour music to show you exactly what we've done. I think this area has really come along an absolute treat now. 
We have moved away from the utter chaos that once was here and moved to something slightly more orderly, but still with that little touch of chaos shining through. But that is Heaven's Agricultural District now complete, and I really am quite proud of this. Next time, it's Hell's turn.